Germany had the Nazi Party, the NSDAP. Italy had the Fascist Party, the National Fascist Party. Hungary had the Arrow Cross Party. This party came to power in late 1944 after the Germans had taken over the country and was led by Ferenc Salashi. Who was he and where did his party stand for? In this video, you are going to learn about the Hungarian Arrow Cross Party. Welcome back everybody. If this is your first time here, welcome to History Hustle. My name is Stefan. I'm a Dutch history teacher and I'm hustling history for you. If you like that, well, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to join the hustle. A sore point or perhaps the sore point in Hungarian history was the Treaty of Trianon. It was drafted during the Paris Peace Conference that also drafted the Treaty of Versailles for Germany. Trianon was signed in 1920 and the territory of Hungary that before was together with Austria and the duo monarchy was reduced severely. Hungary that was a medium sized country before now became a landlocked small state surrounded by new larger neighbors. Eventually with German and Italian arbitration the Hungarians managed to get some of its territories back. Hungary signed the German-Italian-Japanese tripartite pact on the 20th of November 1940. In June 1941, the Hungarians took part in the invasion of the USSR. In January 1943, the Hungarian armies suffered an enormous defeat on the Don. About 50,000 Hungarian soldiers were killed or froze to death. 70,000 were POW'd or became missing in action. The Hungarian government on several occasions contacted the Allies and the Germans they were aware of this. The German invasion of Hungary happened mid-March 1944. On some places the Hungarians offered only light resistance but most Hungarian units didn't fight the Germans at all. Hungarian regent Miklos Horthy remained on his position. He continued to contact the Allies and on the 15th of October managed an armistice with the Soviets. The Germans then organized a takeover, Operation Panzerfaust, carried out by Otto Skorzeny. Horthy refused to appoint Arrow Cross leader Ferenc Salashi as Prime Minister, but finally acquiesced when the Germans threatened his family. The Arrow Cross Party, what kind of party was this? The Arrow Cross Party was founded in 1935, initially known under the name Party of National Will. Another far-right party was the Unity Party of Prime Minister Gyula Kumbus. He strengthened the ties with fascist Italy and Nazi Germany but passed away early 1936. Ferenc Salashi was a dreamy retired army officer and he brought the concept of Hungarism to a new level. Salashi's Hungarism was a bizarre version of racial geopolitics, but no more bizarre than Hitler's vision of an Aryan racialist imperialist utopia. In a way which was characteristic of interwar fascist movements and ideologies, Salashi invented for the Hungarian Magyars a mythical and glorious past, which served as an ideal to evoke and emulate a stimulus to remedying Hungary's inglorious present situation and to securing its glorious future. He saw the Magyars as a global master race, a pure blend of Middle Eastern and Asiatic tribes who by location and settlement had a Western culture and so formed a bridge between Europe and Asia. In contrast to Hitler who believed that the race had to be pure, Salashi believed that by blending the different races, a superior race, the Magyars, the Hungarians, had been created. Together with the Germans and the Japanese, they had to rule over the world. Salashi envisioned a so-called Hungarista state. The Hungarista state, to be known as Hungarian United Ancient Lands, was to encompass the Danubian Basin, including all the Magyar populated territories, as well as areas inhabited by non-Magyar nationalities, Slovaks, Ruthens, Croats, and so on. In Salashi's fantasy land, there was no room for the Jews as the instigators of both Bolshevism and capitalism. They had to be forcefully repatriated outside Europe. 
The expulsion of the Jews would be a step towards creating a Christian, corporately organized economy where the state would nationalize the banks and financial services sector, energy production and war industries, and foster the growth of a mockier middle class of agricultural and industrial entrepreneurs by promoting land reform and industrial development. The construction of this new Hungarista state would see a national reconstruction where the economy and society was reorganized similar to the corporate system of Italian dictator Benito Mussolini. This corporatist model had gained many supporters in Europe before the outbreak of World War II. Up to the war, Aerocraft members and leaders were typically army officers or ex-army officers, civil servants and professionals. Later, the Aerocraft won over agricultural laborers and peasants, especially in the poorest rural areas and industrial and urban workers. Salashi was inspired by Hitler on achieving power. He believed that his party had to take the parliamentary road and once risen to power, they would establish a totalitarian dictatorship. It didn't happen this way though. Although the Aerocross party did have some electoral success in May 1939, where a million votes, 25% were cast. This has also to do with the fact that Salashi at that time was imprisoned for conspiracy of overthrowing the constitution. However, it soon became apparent that no political party wanted to work with the Aerocross party. As often happened to other interwar fascist movements, momentum and expectations fell away after the initial surge when it became clear that the movement would not take power. The German leadership never preferred the Aerocross party as leading party in Hungary. And this was due to the fact that this party, but also other parties, often talked about the fascist revolution they had to proclaim. And this was seen as unreliable. Eventually, the Germans did appoint Salashi as leader of the new Hungarian government late 1944 after their takeover. But this was only due to the fact that there was a lack of better alternative. When Salashi was put in charge as a German puppet ruler, the Hungarian parliament was not dissolved but didn't have much power any longer. The population greeted the change of power passively. Salashi believed that Hungary's only hope was to fully cooperate with Germany. Hungary now became fully at the disposal of the Germans. Salashi wanted a levee en masse, full mobilization, to raise 14 new army divisions. However, many wanted to serve out of fear of the Soviets. The orders had to be rescinded because of the chaotic organization. There was not enough weaponry and uniforms for the new recruits. Speaking of uniforms, here you see a photo I took in the Budapest House of Terror Museum. They wore green shirts with a black tie and a black jacket. They also had an armament with the arrow cross logo, a cross of four arrows. When the Hungarian fascist puppet government was proclaimed, the Red Army was well within the borders of Hungary. And in January 1945, the Hungarian government moved to the west of the country. The Jews that were living in a territory that was controlled by the arrow cross party, they suffered severely. How Hungary fared under Aerocross rule is what I talked about in my video that I recorded on location in Budapest. You can click right here to watch it. Now, if you'd like to learn how Hungary actually joined the Axis, click right here. Become a patron, support me, subscribe if you have not already, give this video a like, leave a comment and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and bye for now.